Hello, welcome to this uh, more advanced video tutorial for uh, autonomous administrators or consultants who would like to define a specific project with special access rights uh, for selected users. So let me first create new project. I will go into web version where we have brand new contact setting configurator in options you will select a project and I will add new project which will be let's say internal press, press apply for this internal project I will just create a very basic template uh, with initial status which will be initial it's very simple and I don't need anything more than bind it with some folder. Let's say I can bind it with some client folder so we'll edit some internal information which is uh, connected with the client actually. So I will just drag and drop to this type in the container client and internal project so at this very moment I can switch on finder, go and find some client in the system and just now I can create new internal project. So I will go into Windows admin application where I need to make some preparation. I can go into accounts and project and uh, project templates and in this section I have this internal project template already prepared and I can change its new project rights into custom and I may start se setting up new custom rights for this project. Uh, that, here is some general information about this template. Uh, this uh, object just says what access rights will the new project have after it has been created. So it will have no inheritance, then that means that this access control list is, does not take the access rights from anywhere else then the project itself, where the access rights will be this. And because there is nothing set up, I need to make some adjustments. Uh, because at this very moment, I would like to have two kind of users having access to this project. One kind of user is a group with some general access rights, and one kind of users will be role I want to be a little bit smart in the setup and I will not continue before I create specific container for storing access rights which can be changed globally when adjusting access rights on this very specific project. In uh, i30 directory from root organization folders custom rights I have a section projects and in this section I have a specific access rights, for example, for sales opportunities. So if I right click, I can see uh, some general settings for access rights for sales opportunity. Here is nothing set up because this access right is being inherited from uh, the parent folder, from the parent container, so I can see who actually has access rights here. If I want to create new container for internal projects, I will just simply create new container, I will rename it into internal and I will adjust access rights to this uh, container. What I want is just the different access rights than all other projects have, therefore I will unlink this handle. I will remove access for everyone, I will keep access for administrators and for example for project managers I want to keep access for creating new information and viewing. I may add some other access group at this moment, I don't want. So this way I have prepared a container where I can always go back and uh, create, change the general access rights to this kind of project. What I just need to make sure is that every new project which will be created will actually link to uh, this container. Therefore, I will go back into project templates and edit template. 
and I will bind this container to this project template. Or I will go back and select. I want to have this internal container to keep all rights for all new created project. Therefore, I have these administrators and project managers here already having inherited uh, access rights to this new project. What I want to do now is to add role rights. Let's consider one day I will create a project, but I will decide that not just only project managers, but also some consultants, some salespeople or some other people would like, I would like to give access to this folder. Therefore, I will select role with full rights, for example, and I would like to give it to consultants, uh, external users, even if I would like to key accounts, management, salespeople and support. Now we'll see what, what I would like to do here. Uh, the very basic usually is new rights and list reading, which is list and view together. Uh, key accounts I would like to give, for example, even edit rights, and I will just keep it this way. It's not important now. Let's say for management, I would even give delete rights and rights to change these rights. So I'll save it. So at this very moment, I've just created new project template, which will make sure that every new project will have custom access rights. What I need to just finish by now is that I, for the project type internal, I need to add available access roles because the system here tracks that only selected access roles can be added to this very project. The third requirement is to go to access and for selected users I need to make sure that they can occupy these and these roles. If you made some revision of whether you set it up properly, I can try. and create my first internal project for this client. And I can go, I will see if this doesn't require any refresh. No, it's okay. So now I added user Jane into consultant role. So I will save this project and I will go back into this Windows application I will, I will revise what access rights have been actually added to this new internal project. So I will cl click on this project, right click, go to access rights and I will see what actually access rights have been added to this project. So I see that this user has been added full rights to work on this project and I have some special role which is a creator and this uh, very special role uh, adds full rights to this admin because he just created the project and I have this uh, full rights access to this user who is now occupying the project so this way uh, I can share this, this project base. If I want to add some more users, I can select for example external Joe, give it external user access and check once more what, 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 what are the access rights and you see that for this external user he has only limited access rights uh, that are defined by the role I just uh, created.